I greet you in the name of Jesus Christ. This is another great opportunity that I'm glad to be with you. My name is Teacher Aziza, and I'm blessed to, to, to encourage you with the word of God, and I know your life will never be the same. Our reading comes from the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 1, verse 7. And it says, For the spirit God gave us does not make us timid, but gives us power, love, and self-discipline. God is telling us that he did not give us the spirit of fear. It doesn't matter what is making you to fear. It doesn't matter what you are undergoing or which circumstances are you in that is making you to fear, is making you to be afraid. The Bible is very clear in the book of 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7, that God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of love, peace, and sound mind. So, today, I'm here for you to tell you that whatever you're going through, be it sickness, be it financial constraint, it doesn't matter which burden are you in, do not be afraid. Are witches and sorcerers not giving you peace? They're giving you sleepless night. Enemies are there giving you sleepless night. In the name of Jesus, I'm here to tell you that the word of God is true. It's telling us God has not given us the spirit of fear. Do not fear. Do not fear at all. Be encouraged, be strong, look upon the Lord, press on, fight, doesn't matter which war are you fighting, fight in prayer, fight in prayer, kneel before the Lord, fight, your war should be in prayer. If you are sick, can you take that sickness, it will not finish you. It will not kill you, but you are an overcomer. That sickness must be healed. You must be free in the name of Jesus Christ. We are here again to read the book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 17. And it says, Do not be afraid. I am the first and the last. I am the living one. I was dead and now, look, I am alive forever and I and ever, and I hold the keys of death and hides. Praise the name of the living God. In the book of Revelation, the God is telling us that you should not be afraid. He is the first and the last. He's the one who is holding the, your key, key of life and death. He knows the years or the numbers of days that he said you live on this earth. As long as you trust in the Lord, as long as you believe in the Lord, no one will kill you. Witches and sorcerers will not kill you. Your enemies will not kill you in the name of Jesus. Even if they go to fight you, they will not succeed. They will never succeed. As long as you know, you follow what is right. As long as your trust is in the Lord, just kneel and pray so that your enemies can know that you serve a living God. No one is going to take your life. No one is going to kill you in the name of Jesus Christ. It doesn't matter what they took to the, to the witches and sorcerers. It doesn't matter what they are holding. It doesn't matter what, what they said that you will not live. I'm telling you, trust me, this word, the word of God is not in vain. Do not be afraid. Fear not. You went to the hospital and doctor told you that this sickness will finish you. You will not survive. Hey, God will remain God. 
as long as you believe in God, you trust in the God, in the Lord. Your trust is in the Lord. Your, the word of God is true. That sickness will not, of, will, will not finish you. You will not die before, before the days that God said you live on this earth. You will live to declare the goodness of the Lord. You will live until you see your grand your great grandchildren. You will die at the old age. You will live until you become tired. But no one will, is going to take your life. You will not die. It doesn't matter they go to different witches. They took they, the enemies took your name to the witches and sorcerers. I said you will not succeed. You will succeed in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Success is your portion. As long as you trust in the Lord, as long as you lean not on your own understanding, but you trust in the Lord, you look up to the mountain and ask yourself, where does your help come from? Your help comes from the Lord. I go to the book of Psalms, chapter 121, verse 1 to 2 there. You are, as long as you, you, you lean not on your own understanding, but you seek the face of the Lord, in each and every that you do, you believe in God, your enemies will be put to, sh to shame. Your enemy will die your death, and they will suffer your suffering. They have gone to the witches and sorcerers to bring, to bring downfall in your life, to bring backwardness in your life. In the name of Jesus, they will not succeed. They will not succeed in the mighty name of Jesus. The name that is above all any other name. That every knee shall bow before him. And every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord. It doesn't matter which small gods are serving. It doesn't matter where they go. They go, they move from one witches to another. They go from one witch doctor to another. To bring downfall in your life. They will not succeed. They will not succeed. It doesn't matter even if they're going to poison you. That poison will not finish you. Hey, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that that poison, it will not finish you. That charm, that satanic charm that I send you, those po uh, uh, python poisoners, some they go to witch doctors, they send uh, demonic snakes to come and, uh, and torment you. They send demonic poison, poison, snake poison in a dream. You dream that you are eating food. You dream that you are feasting. Eh? That's, not, that's, that, 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 that's not just a, a dream. There's, there's, there is some celebration they are doing spiritually so that they can bring downfall in your life. In the name of Jesus, they will never succeed. The enemies will never succeed. And we will not, even if they're going to call you, when you're asleep, they call you your name, they invite you, they call your spirit to, they, to come and eat uh, evil food. You will not eat that food in the name of Jesus. I disconnect you from evil people. I disconnect you from the hands of witches and sorcerers in the name of Jesus Christ. I return those snakes back to the center in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If you have the spirit of fear, I rebuke that spirit of fear to go away in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare the blood of Jesus and the anointing of the Holy Spirit over you. When they call your name at night, you will not, you will not accept, you will not, you will not listen to their calling. You will refuse in the name of Jesus. You will say no. You will, I disagree with you, with, with those enemies, I, your enemies. I disagree with the words they are going to say in the name of Jesus Christ. Every argument that they are going to do with the witches and sorcerers in your absentia, in the name of Jesus, I refuse it. I dis disagree with it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The favor of the Lord is upon you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I cover you and your family with, your, with the precious blood. I hide, I hide you under the shadows of the Lord's wing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your enemies will come in one direction and they will flee away in the seven direction. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you are more than conqueror. You will not die but live to declare the goodness of the Lord. 
in the name of Jesus.